grow a bird vet, we can do marriage vaccinations for your chickens. We have to special, specially order it in, however, we can do the same price for one chook versus 100, 200 chickens, uh, even up to a thousand, but ideally not that many because that'll take a very, very long time. Um, it comes frozen, dry ice. This is the dilutant. And in here, we have the actual vaccination itself, which is concentrate and frozen in dry ice. Oh probably careful with getting that out. I need to thaw this out in 28 degree water very quickly within 60 seconds without freezing my own finger off because that is quite cold. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Who's making all the noise in the background? <laughs> Be the cranky clinic Quakers. So it's actually thawing up pretty quickly. I might actually leave that there for a moment. I'm going to need to add one mil of the dilutant to the sample, or to the vaccine. Almost looks like it's fully thawed out. Still a little bit of ice in there. And it comes in a little glass ampule right there. Not plastic, so we have to break it open. Finding the marking, breaking it off, and then ever so carefully adding in our mill, drawing up the rest, and then all of this goes into our dilutant bag making sure that's in there in it goes nice little effect give it a quick little shake we want to draw up a little bit more because there's a tiny bit left over in here that we don't want to lose just to give it a quick rinse get all we can out of this All back up. And injecting the rest back into the bag. Moving it. We want to mix it thoroughly. Now this very expensive Marix vaccination bag must be thrown out in about six hours time. So we can do up to a thousand chickens. Today we've got six or maybe seven better than none right something i didn't include in the previous video of making up the max vaccination was the font injecting of anything into these bags it can just sit in the little hub down here especially if it's a small quantity but it's a small vial sure it's a little bit more than that area but a chunk of it could still sit there if you haven't got the correct concentration in the bag then you most likely won't get the desired outcome be it a vaccination or a constant rate infusion that has opioids in it. So we want to make sure that we properly mix it. I'll demonstrate, just a plain old bag of IV fluids and some dye. So I'm going to inject said dye. And you can see that it's all just lingering around the bottom. This is the part that will then go to the patient and it's the rest of the fluids. Let's say it gets banged around a little bit during moving around to get rid of your patient. You can see this big chunk of it here, a little bit of fluid, and then a bit mixed up here, not equal. And then this massive amount in here. Look at that color difference. That means it is not evenly distributed. We wanna make sure to evenly distribute the medication. I'm gonna call it medication. By drawing back on it, sucking some back out, squirt it back in to try to push it through. 
Do that a few times. Try to get out of there. Give it a good shake. You can see the colour changing already. Keep doing that a few times. You can see now there's a big colour difference between those two sides. So I'm evenly distribute all this medication. Take it off the hook. Squeeze it out. Get everything out. Squeeze everything through. And now all that medication that was originally sitting in there, almost all of it, there's a little bit at the bottom, is all evenly distributed throughout the whole bag, ready to go to the patient at the correct even dose. We had no ice in the clinic, it's 30 degrees outside. It's cooling down. 